Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in AutoCAD. In this tutorial, we are going to model this 2D model using AutoCAD. For that, first go to the AutoCAD. Now we are in the AutoDesk AutoCAD 2022. First go to New. Now we are in the new window. For easy explanation, I am just going to keep this drawing left side and software in the right side. Now we can easily see the dimensions. First, before start drawing any model, first set the units. For the type units, our units are in millimeter and decimal you make it zero, precision you make it zero, decimal and here we choose millimeter. Save OK. Then we need to specify the limit. Just type limits. This left lower left corner is 0, 0, and upper right corner is we need to specify the maximum more than the maximum length of the model. The maximum x length is 90 and maximum y length is 60. So we will specify 150, 150. 150, 150, just enter. Then Z enter, A enter. That's it. Now we have set the model. Now we can start drawing it. Here you can see the pre, uh, decimal is showing one 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 decimal pre precision. So just go for the units again. Here you choose the precision of one one zero point zero one one decimal precision. Now we can start modeling that uh, diagram. We can start from any point. In this model, I am going to start from here, as they have specified length vertical length is eighty, and horizontal length is twenty two point five. Take a line, just L enter. I am going to start from this point. So switch on the ortho mode by pressing F8. Here you can see it is enabled. The vertical length is 8, just 8 enter. Now we can uh, zoom the model by using a mouse roller. By rolling mouse front side and back side, you can zoom in and zoom out. Now the horizontal length is 22.5, and again vertical length is 15. Again, go for horizontal length is 22.5. That just pan your uh, model by pressing the roller and moving your mouse. Now, vertical length, which is 15. See, this dimension they are not provided. Then you just leave the model, just right click and cancel it. Now we can start modeling from this point. Take line again, L enter. Here. The horizontal distance is 90, just 90 enter and vertical distance is here you can see which is 45, 45 enter and the inclined distance is 50. This, this distance is 45 and this total distance is 60 means 45 this distance is 15. So simply we can go for 15 vertical and the horizontal is 23. Now we can connect this point. For that, just switch off the auto mode by pressing F8. Now you can able to connect and you can create an incline line easily. Right click, cancel it. Then just go for L, enter. Start from here. Just switch on the auto mode by pressing F8. This distance is 30. And just connect this, these two endpoints. Before that, switch off the auto mode by pressing F8. Now you can easily connect these two incline points, right click, cancel. Now just remove the unwanted edges by typing TR, enter, just remove it. Then go press the escape again. Now we have created the outer sketch. Now we just want to create the circle. The center of the circle is 30 from X axis and Y axis. Take a line, L, enter. From this point, just horizontal line, just press the F8 to switch on the ortho mode. Horizontal the length is 30 and vertical length is also be 30. Right click, cancel. Now we got the center point. Now we just want to create the circle. Just type C, enter. You will get the circle command. Then this one the center point. Default the circle command start with the radius. If you want to specify the diameter, just type D, enter. You will get the diameter command. Then type 30, 
means a diameter, then enter it. Now we created the circle, then we'll remove unwanted edges by TR, enter, and this one, this one, and this one. Then press the escape to come out from the trim command. Now we have created the outer sketch. To increase the width of the model, just simply select the sketch by just left click here, move your mouse to downside and again left click, you can able to select the complete model, then by layer, increase into 0.35, then press escape. Now the width is will not be shown, to show the width, just go for line width, then switch, off, switch on it. If you are not getting this command, just go for customization, just take the line weight object uh, command here. Now we will specify the dimension one by one. First we will start from linear dimension. Just go for linear. This distance is 22.5. Here you can see it is coming but it is coming as a very small. For that just go for dim style. Dim STY. Modify. Symbols and arrow make it 3. Text also make it 3. Primary units make it one decimal. Say OK, then close it. It is 20, 22.5. Then again go for linear dimension. This one is 8. And this dimension is 15. And again this dimension is 15. Then just go here. This dimension is 30, and here which is 23, and just again go for here. The total height is 60, and from the center point to here, this one is 45. This one is 30, from here to here which is 30 and one more dimension is this edge, from this point to this point, this is 45. Now just go for here, bottom side and this distance from the center point to this edge which is 30, make it here, linear, then go for here. And this total length is 90. Then finally we just want to specify the center mark. Just CM enter. Just move to cursor here. You will get the center mark. Then go for escape. To increase the width of the center mark just select this one. Right click. Go for properties. Here just line type scale. You make it 15. Then escape. Then close it. You will get the center mark. Then here we just make it a diameter, for that just go here, choose the diameter and select this one. So this was the diameter. This one you can keep in it's inside also. Switch off the ortho mode, then you can easily move your command and just keep it. That's it. <coughs> just go for the layout, purpose, switch off the grid. Now you can able to see the model. Here you just go for top view. This is the top view model. Now just go for the model again. Now you can take a snap if you want to take snap. Like that we can take a pictures. Just go to the model again. In that we have finished this model. I hope you like this video. If you like this video please share to your friends. For more videos. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you.